And the moving adventure continues, y'all. So we have gotten a lot of stuff done this week. Nathan has worked all week, naturally. Um, I mean, he normally works, right? But he has had to work a lot of mandatory overtime and has not gotten home to about eight o'clock. So the kids and I have gotten a lot done. They, the kid, y'all, so many of y'all have commented on how much our kids are helping and how awesome it is. And I can't even tell you, like, it has blessed me so much seeing the kids pull together, all of them, like even Reagan and Harper, Drew and little Kinley, they want to carry stuff to the container. They're helping pack. It has been just amazing how helpful they are. And I'm so thankful. So we have gotten a lot of stuff done. Like they got all the stuff down from the attic. They actually were like, mom, let's get the stuff out of the attic. I was like, okay, let's, let's get it done. So we have, we've gotten a lot done. Um, Nathan even said last night, he was like, y'all done a lot. Like <laughs> you don't have to work so hard. He, so Nathan has tomorrow off Friday and his job first thing is to finish organizing, not finish, to organize a container. He's just it's a gift that some people have. I do not have that gift. <laughs> he does. So he even was like, y'all just chill out a little. I'm have Friday off. He actually has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off as well. So it'll help us get settled and stuff. While I'm out in the garage, he'll show you. Doesn't it look a little bit better, y'all? A little bit, right? <laughs> so, oh, what person can dream. Those are all empty boxes still. We got all the stuff out of the attic and these box bins were not completely full. So I think what I'm going to do is consolidate it all into one bin and then we can use the empty bins for moving and stuff and storing other things. But I need to write myself a note that I have consolidated what clothes I've, I have. Anyways, so whenever I asked y'all about how uh, moving clothing, one of y'all mentioned uh, there were so many good ideas, but we did happen to get some wardrobe boxes from uh, Facebook Marketplace. I just got free boxes off of there and that has been great. So that's what I've been using and they are really nice. I don't have the bars for them. So I'm just laying them in there and I think it's fine. Like I'm leaving them on their hangers and I think it'll work out good. So this one I think will hold Nathan's clothes and the boys clothes because that's a pretty big one. So I have been wanting to sit down and update you guys. I've seen all the questions, but I just have not had the time. So I had a little bit of time this morning, so I did a little sit down clip and I'm going to update you guys on everything that's going on. Okay, so I am going to update you guys. First and foremost, I want to apologize for not fully stating what we were doing. It wasn't intentional at all. I've been very focused on physically, you know, what we have going on here and the things that we are doing and being there for our kids. This isn't an easy move. Um, it's been hard on a lot of the kids. This has been home for them. Um, and it, it's just been a long journey for us. If I've shared, you know, little tidbits along the way. So if y'all seen them all, you kind of know some of the details, but for sake of time, I'm, I'm just not gonna go into everything again. And it's honestly, it's, it's kind of hard to talk about, but it's okay, we are moving forward and we believe that God is directing us where we are going. So as y'all know, we have needed to move and the housing market in Florida, and I know I've said this many times and I just don't know that people necessarily realize if you're not here or if you're not in the need of buying a house. <laughs> and I know the housing market is kind of crazy everywhere, but specifically in Florida from what I've read and heard from people and what I've experienced here. It's like, whenever I say that there's a low inventory, it's it's scary low. Um, anyway, so fast forward to now. Well, we weren't able to find a house to buy or rent. We did look into rentals, so we bought land. And then we ran into a few things with that. Um, it's kind of just like at this point, I just have to laugh at everything. So when we got a date as far as the listing of this house, um, we obviously have to be out and we started look, we've been looking for rentals anyways, but looking su super serious and was going to go look at a couple, like they all rented before we could even go physically view them. It's beyond frustrating. Anyway, so we were thinking that we were going to have to list the land and just find some place to rent or maybe to buy 
if we, if you know we happen to find something. Well, since then, so our family, like our extended family, knows our desire and have been excited that we bought this land and we've just ran into some roadblocks that were out of our control. It's just life stuff like this happens. Um, anyways, we were looking at moving in with my mom, but then my uncle actually offered for us to move in with him and my aunt. So that is what we are doing. And we are so thankful. Um, because like I said, we were having a hard time even finding a rental. We weren't exactly sure, you know, what was going to happen. So my uncle's house has a little bit more room in comparison to my mom's house. And he has a big yard that my kids will love and play in. They also have a pool, which is going to be super fun for my kids. Um, and they live on the river, so the boys are excited about fishing. So that's our plans going forward. Is And that's how come things, the way that we're packing and doing things is a little bit different. So the container that is brought here is actually, my uncle owns it. I've had a lot of questions about that container. Like, where did you get that? huge blessing because we were thinking that we were gonna have to rent storage units have y'all priced those my word they are insane like for a 10 by 20 it was like 400 dollars a month and i don't know that all of our stuff would fit in a 10 by 20. so my uncle owns this container and he offered it to us to use which is a huge blessing because it should store all of our stuff so most of our stuff is going into storage in that container and a good some of our stuff is going to his house like our living room set is going to his house they have my uncle and aunt have been such a blessing to us during this um and them offering us to stay with them i i just can't even tell you one it's very humbling um i could just i don't want to cry i could cry just talking about it it's just blessed us a lot that they are rooting for us and the things that they have said to us, they were like, we know that you want to keep the land. We know that you want to put a house on the land. And sometimes we just need a little bit of help to get there. And that's, you know, perfectly okay. Let us help you, Jessica. I mean, what amazing people. So we are very humbled and excited to see what transpires out of this. So with that said, um, we don't necessarily have a time frame. We are hoping that it's short term, you know, very short term, like maybe six months that we will be staying with them. And our hopes is to put a manufactured home on the land. We have been in the works of talking to people and we're hoping that obviously it'll work out because that's our heart's desire. We have wanted land for a long time and have dreamed of it. And obviously we ended up purchasing land. So hopefully all of this will work out. Um, we are just very thankful for what this opportunity is bringing to us and also very humbled as well. Nathan and I have always just lived obviously on our own since being married. So we haven't done anything like this before. And I know that it, like there's gonna be a transition period and but I feel like we all get along well that it should, you know, it'll work out. So that is what's going on. We are moving in with my uncle. It is within the vicinity of where we live. It's a little bit further north um, than where our church is and stuff like that. But that's, I'm nothing to complain about by any means. But I've had a lot of people ask, are you moving out of state? Are you staying in the same area? Like what is going on? So anyways, so that's our goal or that's what we are doing is and after we move in with them we are going to start working on prepping the land and hopefully get the ball rolling on ordering the house and all of that i'm telling like i could write a book <laughs> about all the things that have happened but it's really just not worth complaining about because i'm not meaning it that way at all and sometimes it can come off that way so I wanted to say a huge thank you guys for all of your support. It has been amazing and y'all have given such great advice with moving and packing. Nathan and I have not moved very many times at all. Like, I think four times. And this is the longest that we've lived in a place. Anyway, so I'm going to get on with our work for the day. We've still got some packing to do. This is kind of our, I keep saying it's crunch time, but it is. It's Thursday. Nathan has tomorrow off. Um... And then we're hoping to like move stuff into my uncle's house on Sunday. So it's go time. 
All right, so per y'all's recommendation, I did a cutting of the hydrangea and I might try to dig it up if I have time because y'all inspired me and said that it will do well. And it could, my, my concern is it's dormant. You know, like it doesn't have very many leaves on it. it oh, he pooped. <laughs> so there's more news for y'all. So I gotta go change her. Um, but that was my concern was it being dormant and maybe that's better for it. I haven't really read up on it. Um, and I have tried to graph it before and they died. So I haven't had good success with it, but I'm inspired. So worst case, you know, I try and it doesn't do anything. So anyways, I did take a clipping. I'm pretty sure it's a lace cap hydrangea. So hopefully this will help, but I might try to dig it up. I gotta go get some more uh, soil if I'm gonna dig it up. So we're just running short on time and still have a lot of work to do. Okay, so time has gotten away from me. It's a little bit later. My mom actually had Jackson, Miley, and Logan out. And they have been back for a little bit. So we've been visiting. But now I'm getting dinner going. And the boys actually have practice tonight. Y'all, yes, we are still doing all the things because we are crazy. Crazy. Okay? You got that? Crazy. Anyways, it's really, it's okay. We, we got it. Um, but last night we had fajitas. Oh, and in the midst of all this, so this is my microwave. It died, y'all. Like, it's done. It's kaput. It don't work no more. Which I was actually going to throw it away anyways. I wasn't going to keep it. But you don't realize how much you use the microwave until you don't have one. I kind of wanted to get away from using it anyways. That's a long ramble. So, I'm taking last night's leftovers of, we had fajitas, and I'm making fajita quesadillas with it. And they look really good. So most of the kids just had regular quesadillas. Taylor actually made them for me because my mom and I were working on some stuff. I'm telling you what, the kids, having older kids is such a blessing. Like, thank you so much, Taylor, for making quesadillas. So now I'm making the fajita ones for my mom, myself, Nathan, and my sisters here too. So I just put the fajita mixture in there. Those are almost done. This is how much I got left. I think I can get one more quesadilla out of it. So I'm hiding away in my bedroom because it is very loud out there. We got some of the straggler things. That's like what's so hard about moving is like you get the big stuff out, you tackle the clothes, but then it's like you have these straggler things. Like where does all this stuff go? So handled some of that, got some boxes finished up, packing, taped up. The last, so I have not gone through the boys' clothes yet, so I'm going to start that tomorrow because I'm tired, y'all. <laughs> so, um, and my mom is coming over on Saturday as well. Is she coming over on Saturday or was it Sunday? I don't remember. She's either coming over on Saturday or Sunday. Can't believe that moving day is almost here. We are getting there. Nathan feels like we have, I meant to like show y'all throughout the house the progress that we have made, but I have not had the time to do that. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Um, we are moving forward and we have peace in the decisions that we are making as far as moving in with my uncle. And we are very thankful for the opportunity to give us more time to try to put a house on the land because that is our hope and desire and dream is to live on you know a few acres and raise our children there so that's the update and it's gonna be uh, i'm a little overwhelmed <laughs> nathan keeps telling me to calm down obviously he's the calm in this relationship <laughs> i'm like how is this just all gonna work out He's like, it, it will, Jessica. It always does. Meaning, so my uncle is moving stuff out of his house to make room for our stuff. We are bringing in our dining room table and living room furniture. And I don't think we're bringing very much kitchen stuff because they have a lot. Um, and like the same type of stuff that I would use. Anyway, so it's going to be, like I said, a transition period. But we are... We are getting there. So thank you guys again so much for your love and support. And again, I apologize. I was not trying. I just have been so busy. I haven't had time to sit down and talk about everything that was going on. And I didn't realize that I didn't fully state. Again, things have transpired too as time has gone on as it seems the way that things are working for us. But anyway, so thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. And we will keep you all along this journey. And show you all the steps that we are making and for hanging out with us and we'll see you all in the next video.